Good afternoon. I have been asked to respond by several media outlets to the recent uh, news about a San Jose police officer who was placed on leave many months ago for uh, offering a meth pipe, meth pipe allegedly to an informant in exchange for information. This officer's conduct amounts to a severe violation of the ethical and professional standards of this department. Obviously, this is just the latest in what has become a drumbeat of serious transgressions by young officers in the San Jose Police Department. In my view, two things are equally true. First, we have a serious problem in SJPD that requires remedial action immediately. Second, these officers do not represent the very high moral and professional standards upheld by 99% of our hardworking San Jose police officers protecting our community today. Mayor Sam Licardo of San Jose is talking about the troubles with his police department and many of these officers and get them caught up with odd things like, as he mentioned there, offering an informant, a potential informant, a crack pipe in exchange for information. There's more headlines here from these police officers. One says San Jose police officer accused of being drunk at baby Brandon kidnapping scene. Odd. Also, disturbing details emerge after San Jose police officer arrested for masturbating at a family's home. There's more. So, as you saw, there's San Jose police officer accused of giving meth pipe to an informant. Coroner's report for San Jose police officer who died of fentanyl overdose reveals marijuana and alcohol in his system. And so, all these things have been happening under them to the point where the mayor has to come out and say, you know, they're not really following the normal guidelines of what San Jose police officers are really all about. Let's talk about the details of that sex offender cop. Since we teased that one as the most seemingly Probably the craziest of these types of interactions. So let's go to the details of that. A San Jose police officer faces indecent exposure charges for allegedly masturbating at a family's home while responding to a disturbance call last month. Officer Matthew Dominguez, who's 32 years old, was arrested on Thursday, is what Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office said. Dominguez has been on San Jose police force for four years. And it took place on April 21st. That's when he and two other officers were sent to a home on a call that a family member who was mentally ill was being violent. According to the DA's office, Dominguez sent the two other officers away to locate the subject. He then touched himself in front of two female family members. And after this, he exposed himself to the mother. The DA's office said that the victims who were shocked and scared by his behavior fled and reported Officer Dominguez's actions to the two male relatives nearby. And one of the relatives also witnessed the officer exposing himself in a dining area, is what prosecutors went on to say as well. So uh, as they're trying to uh, collect and have this damage control come down from this in San Jose, um, they shot their own video of the sheriff walking this uh, serial masturbator out once they arrested him and they uploaded it. Watch that. Make sure the community knows that they're on your side. Let's burn this officer's face and walk him out with the sheriff himself. That'll do it, or maybe they can do more. Uh, uh, Dave, what are you thinking? Because uh, also the police say that they're gonna try and revamp their, their training purposes or training procedures. We'll see if that happens. Yeah, I'm not sure you can train people not to masturbate in somebody's home if they're gonna <laughs> do it. I, I just, I think this is an issue of every industry has its bad apples. But for whatever reason, actually for a lot of reasons, the police tends to attract a lot more bad apples than most industries. And nobody has the capacity to make you have a really bad day than a police officer who is not following the law, following his own department guidelines. Um, in this particular case, I, I hope the police department goes back and finds out, well, how did we recruit this guy? How come we didn't notice some of his behavior early? Earlier. Clearly, uh, other officers probably knew that this guy had some sort of problem. What kept them from bringing his problems to the department? I mean, every workplace has an opportunity where you can help your colleagues before it gets out of control, something like this. This guy has a problem. The San Jose Police Department has a lot of problems. It goes beyond just one guy who thought that he could somehow intimidate and uh, terrorize people in front of them.